Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight from the office, Wayne Wilson. Baseball legend Hank Aaron. And music from the Mountain Goats. Plus Bob Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. And now, leader of the revolution, Dave. Thank you so much. You know what time we start the show, right, Tony? <laughs> How you folks doing? Everybody okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, all right. What are you, an optometrist from Albany? Come on! <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Late Show, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody feeling this evening? Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. It's very nice of you to be here. We really couldn't do the show without you. I'm just waiting on something now. <laughs> and as soon as we're ready, we're taking off. <laughs> just like a flight on JetBlue, isn't it? We're just... I'm missing the first card. Missing the first one. What do you, what do you suppose happened to it? <laughs> where... Where... Thirty years. Remember what I said about the show? You want it, you want it, Tony, you want to take a minute and go up and get it? What about not eating on the subway? Yeah, yeah. I, I kinda remember that. Yeah. You wanna you wanna run up and check? Okay. Thank you very much. Who wants to have their eyes checked? <laughs> Honest, honestly, I feel like I'm playing blackjack with the cue cards. Ah. I'm going to double down on this. <clears throat> <laughs> Hi, welcome to The Late Show. How are you folks doing? Hey. Listen to this. You ride a New York City subway, don't try to eat anything. It's illegal to eat on the New York City subway. $250 fine if they catch you eating... Now, that's not it either. <laughs> Just put it down. Just that's here, give it, give it to this guy. and use it as an eye chart. <laughs> well, you, there you go. <laughs> oh, <mighty. laughs> It's better. Okay. It's better or is that better? Okay. How about this? Is this better? How about that? Is that better? Whew. Two hundred fifty dollar fine if they catch you eating on the subway. Two. You take a snack on like a thing and eat that. Two hundred fifty dollar fine. They're not kidding about that. Two hundred fifty dollar fine for eating on the subway. Taking a leak? Not a problem. That's fine. <laughs> not a problem. Sex? Not a problem. <laughs> a chupa, giant chupacabra sized rats. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, golly. Number five, every Super Bowl is decided a week in advance by NFL spokesman Greg Aiello. There's the guy that's telling like that. 
At number four, Super Bowl MVP Larry Zonka appeared in the film Larry Zonka and the Chocolate Factory. I thought so. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Tony, is this the card? Is this the card you were looking for? Is, is that the one? Was this the one you wanted? Is this? Oh. Is that? Oh. Oh, you got to go in. There is nothing but trouble around here. There's always wow. something. Yeah, it's always something comes up. Uh, number three, Mike Ditka is the only person who wins Super Bowl as a player, coach, and cheerleader. Number two. <laughs> Due to a football shortage, uh, Super Bowl uh, 32 was played with mangoes. Mangoes. Played with mangoes. And the number one Super Bowl fun fact, Pat Nixon slept with every member of the 1972 Miami Dolphins backfield. There you go. Super Bowl fun facts. Super Bowl fun facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. back the lovely Michelle Williams, ladies and gentlemen. So come on back and Listen to this. On this date in 2181 BC, 2181 BC, chair, the chair, was introduced. And, oh, no, no, wait a minute. No, no I'm, I'm sorry, that was share. Share. <laughs> What? What is going on? Can I do so can I do something for you? Do you need a what? Give me the act one card. I'll be right back. <laughs> that it? Thank you very much. This is it? Yeah. This is it? You, you seem hesitant as well. <laughs> okay, all right. There we go. There you go. Right. Thank you, Mr. Can I do anything for anybody as long as I'm up? <laughs> I'll be happy to. You want to? <laughs> Tony, is this a good time for you? Because <laughs> we, we don't have to do the show now. We'll, we'll all come back later. <laughs> uh, 2181 uh, BC, the guy invented the chair. And listen to this at the time of his death, he was working on the bar stool. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> on this date in 1639, Cardinal Richelieu invented table knives. 1639 invented table knives. And if you bought a set, he would throw in a tomato slice. <laughs> on. Was that the card I walked all the way over there to get? <laughs> matter with me. Uh, excuse me. I tried to avoid a rat on my way to work this morning, and so here's what I do. I see the rat. He sees me. I get on one car. He gets on the car. We go a couple of stops. I get off. He gets off. I scratch my leg. He scratched his leg. Hey, boss. Hey, oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe I had been taken above. <laughs> yes, what can I do for you, Harold? Harold Larkin, ladies and gentlemen, our head carpenter. Hi, Harold. What's going on? Well, uh, yesterday, Oprah mm -hmm. walked into her magazine offices. Oprah, yes. And she gave her entire staff a new iPad and a check for $10,000. Oprah did this? Yes, she did. Gave, gave the staff of the magazine iPads, $10,000? Check for $10,000. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Check. I could, uh, I could give you a cookie. All right, okay.
Hear about this story? A guy uh, stole a Greyhound bus to go visit his girlfriend. $600,000 Greyhound bus. But if, if you, think, you think about it, I mean, who wouldn't be impressed by a guy who shows up driving a $600,000 vehicle? <laughs> you know? Hey, look at this. Take a guess what this set me back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They found the guy, he was, uh, where was he going? What's the itinerary of the guy with the bus? Do you have the itinerary? No, I see you had it a minute ago. No, don't argue with me. You had it a minute ago. <laughs> just, just pull it back up so I can tell him where the guy was going. No, you didn't. I saw it a second ago. Yeah. It's gone now. P just p pick it up. Back. Pick it's it all up. gone now. Is it back there? Huh? I left it upstairs. Really? Yeah. How long will it take? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the guy stole a Greyhound bus, and he's leading police on a high-speed chase. They went through Troy, Troy. Schenectady, Kitty, Utica, Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, and Niagara, Niagara Falls. Falls. Like, uh... <laughs> Should we get you a chair? No. You all right? He's okay. fine. <clears throat> Um, ladies and gentlemen, Sunday uh, is Father's Day, uh, brunch with Dad, uh, be because what the old man doesn't need uh, if, if there's because what? <laughs> because brunch with Dad on Sunday, because what old man needs? Hmm? <laughs> what the old man needs? Because what the old man oh, because. Because what the old man needs is alcohol and a cheese omelet. <laughs> Would you mind taking that one back upstairs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. Okay. Is everyone ready? <laughs> oh, give me a minute. Oh, sure. We got nothing but time. <laughs> now we're ready, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> what, do you got a day job? What's... Tony, <laughs> just go ahead and shuffle them again. We don't care. <laughs> well, get ready. Uh, uh, TV excitement. A uh, brand new season of the Jersey Shore premiered earlier tonight on MTV. So, <laughs> you know what they say lights, camera, idiots. <laughs> Never seen anything like this. Yeah. Yeah. Time out. Tony Mendez wants to there. talk it over. Yeah. What is yeah. Tony? What is honest to God? What are you doing? I'll be right back, Mr. Letterman. I know. <laughs> I forgot a cue card upstairs. Which one did you forget? Act one. Oh. You want to run up and get it? <laughs> How long will it take you to go get it?
We have a, we have a woman in the audience from Detroit. Congratulations, you're going to dinner at 21, ma'am. Doc is not here. Doc is not. Doc is no, he Tommy. Is. Tommy is here. No, Ed, no, Ed is here. No, Ed is not. Ed is, no, Ed is good. Not. Ed is. Ed is not here. And then secret security, secret service caught the guy. They finally got the guy, and then they took him inside and sat him next to the president at a state dinner. Right. So everything, <laughs> everything's fine now. Hey, come on in. Come on in, Larry. Yes. Bring your stuff in here. Uh, but listen, the, uh, the, uh, the Jets, huh? What happened? I don't, know what happened. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> don't, don't kid yourself. The New York Jets are on a roll. <laughs> what? They're, they're on a roll. Saturday, they beat the Bengals, and today, quarterback Mark Sanchez started dating Kate Hudson. Oh, so they... They're really on a roll. What did you do? Shuffle them? Is that what it? <laughs> it's like we're playing canasta all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, but usually this time of year, the only jets that New Yorkers are excited about are the ones that are landing in the Hudson. Remember that That's when the guy just yeah, yeah. about a year ago? Mm -hmm. uh, do I get to cut them now? Uh, a naked jogger? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wow. Did you just scramble them? What happened up there? That's all right. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Uh, seems like every week there's something new to be sick about. And uh, this week, of course, it's the big uh, British petroleum oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Have you folks been looking at this thing? The, the, this is crazy. The thing, uh, it, it collapses, and the safety valve, when uh, it collapses, the safety valve is snapped off. So the pipe coming up out of the ocean floor, I'm sorry, the gulf floor, is now pumping. Uh, it's leaking a little bit of oil. 200,000 gallons a day! 200,000 gallons a day just pumping right up into the Gulf of, of Mexico. Uh, here, and it's affecting everything. I was at uh, uh, lunch on Sunday, and I ordered uh, the sea bass. My hand to God, this is a true story. The, the waiter said to me, you want regular or unleaded? <laughs> what? What is it, Tony? What is it? What happened? That card was out of place. You had a card out of place? Oh, how did, how did a thing like that happen? That's all right. Please, Tony, I just pray to God you don't blame yourself. Hard as I <laughs> Just a bit. Uh -huh. Just once. Wouldn't you like to get a blackjack dealer like this? Is it? Just once. <laughs> just once. Jackpot. Oh, I'm sorry, I had a card out of place. You win. Oh, look at there, another card out of place. You win. Here, take it. Take it. Regular, I did the regular unleaded. Is this a bit? Huh? Is this one of your bits? <laughs> no, I said. That's right. It's a bit. Okay. Now what? That's where it went. That's where what went? This card, the one that was out of place. Right. <laughs> okay. Are we back in order now? Yes, sir. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Today is April 28th, and here's good news. It's what? It's the what? Is it, what is today's day? <laughs> Let me have a look at the card, son. <laughs> Now, 
I know in a perfect world I should probably know the date. <laughs> and the cue cards certainly aren't an official calendar. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> what is the date? The 25th. The 25th. Oh, well, we were close. <laughs> You. Did you get my name right? <laughs> Today, of course, is April 25th. <laughs> See, now the problem with this is people at home who already think I'm as dumb as a box are saying to themselves right now, see, he don't have any idea what the damn date is. They scribble it down on a card and stupid comes out and says it. <laughs> Hell, I could do a damn show like that. <clears throat> is Zorro on? <laughs> starting, starting to do someone else's act there. Well. <laughs> Speaking of that, there's, uh, you like uh, memorabilia and stuff like that? They, uh, they found now a check that's like 60 years old. <clears throat> it's a check, uh, a blank check signed by John Kennedy, President John Kennedy, JFK. The check they think is 60 years old. A 60-year-old blank check signed by the president. You know what that means? S somewhere there's still a hooker waiting to be paid. <laughs> It up. I, didn't, I didn't have the chronology quite right on that joke, but it proves the old adage, as long as you're talking about hookers, boom, don't make any difference. Don't make any difference. Let's go through that joke so everybody at home, I just want to, I want to get this on the record straight here. Read along with me if you can. Blank check signed by President Kennedy right here in 1963, so that wouldn't make it uh, quite 60 years old, would it? <laughs> we'll be auctioned off next, uh, this, by the way, here, that's an abbreviation for week. W, okay, period, week. Can you say week? <laughs> week. Week, okay. A blank check signed by JFK, dash, dash, slash. That means somewhere, 60-year-old hooker. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't want you folks, the home viewers, to be penalized because I screwed up the joke. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, here's something interesting. Historically, uh, on Friday, 300 members of Congress uh, were here in New York City. I don't believe it's ever happened in 200 years. The Congress, the United States Congress, came here to New York City. And, man, talk about trouble. The mayor had to hire 200 temporary hookers. But he got them. And everything. Is... What can you do? Huh? What? What is it? Wait a minute, I'm getting a bulletin. What did you say? Huh? No, Come on. what it is. I forgot to make a change. Well, what's it supposed to say? Well, don't show them the oh. joke. What, just whisper. What is it, what is it supposed to say? What is it? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. First night back. Uh, so anyway, listen, you won't believe this. Well, now maybe you will. Um, <laughs> ABC has this interview with uh, one of Saddam Hussein's girlfriends, and he's no this guy, have you seen him? Well, he's nothing if not a ladies' man. He's... <laughs> and uh, he says that uh, this guy, that uh, he uh, uses Viagra, Saddam Hussein uses Viagra, that his favorite food is gazelle. I just learned that a second ago. <laughs> his favorite food is gazelle. He... He likes dancing to Frank Sinatra's Strangers in the Night. I'm telling you, folks, it's like I have a twin. It's like I have a twin brother. Whoa, oh, this Martha Stewart thing. Have you been following the Martha Stewart trial? How many of you believe that the woman is innocent? How many of you believe that she may be guilty?
How many of you would like to see her do hard time in a federal penitentiary? Uh. <laughs> kind of disturbing. Whoa. Uh, anyway, in the Martha Stewart trial, the jury is now deliberating, and today the judge asked to see, uh, they asked the judge if they could see Martha's uh, phone logs, and they also wanted to see her recipe for spring squash. Uh... <laughs> That's what they wanted to do. That's right. Huh? What? What's the matter? Well, did I want to do it again? Well, how badly did I screw it up? Huh? You want to do it again? I'll do it again if you want to do it again. Okay. I'm going to do it again. Tony Mendez now producing the show. <coughs> yeah. Seems to be. Uh, you folks hear about the uh, Martha Stewart trial? Well, you know, the jury is now deliberating, and uh, today they asked the judge to see Martha's phone logs oh. and also her recipe for spring squash. <laughs> Are, are, are you getting paid by the card? Uh. <laughs> Everybody been watching the uh, Democratic National Convention? I, I like watching it. I mean, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, not really exciting, <laughs> but it's fun to watch, you know? Uh, as a matter of fact, here is the list of the speakers for tonight. You're going to have Senator Harry Reid, uh, former New Hampshire Governor uh, Jean Shaheen, uh, and uh, Charles Schumer, senator from uh, New York. I'm telling you, fire up the TiVo! Fire it up. Fire Let's, it up. Come on! Huh? What was that, Tony? Nothing. Well, no, I'm sorry. You had something you wanted to add? What was that? Nothing. No, was it last night? Those were the speakers last night? That's what I thought. Been, uh... Well, no, let's see the card. Maybe you were right. <laughs> Talk about slowing down the game. Oh. No, let me see. Was it last night? They're, they're, the speakers. They're tonight. They're tonight. And I said last night? No, I said it last night, but I was trying to. <laughs> He's glad. <laughs> Good night, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry. We'll put together a nice retirement package for you. <laughs> and you can, you can still drop by and say hi to your friends. Amazing statistics surrounding the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. For example, 10,000 marchers. Did you know that? 10,000 marchers? Uh, spectators, three and a half million spectators. Three and a half million spectators. Two porta potties. Uh huh. And honest to God, how about those balloons? Weren't they fantastic, ladies and gentlemen? And, uh, I mean, it could have, it could have been ugly, but it was kind of funny. The, the bullwinkle, the moose balloon, and Sarah Palin took a shot at it. But that, <laughs> don't worry about that. It was, everybody, everybody loves the parade balloons. They're make, America's favorite inflatables next to Pam Anderson. That would be number two. It was, uh. I'm sorry? I was wondering what happened to the McCain balloon. Oh, the McCain balloon. <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Tony. <laughs> well, that, that one never got off the ground. <laughs> Tony Mendez, ladies and gentlemen. Did, did we serve wine with the dinner earlier, was that? Perhaps. Uh, um, we're, not, we're not kidding about this uh, economy. Uh, sales of the Christmas trees way down. Did you know that? Yeah, way down. Sales are, although experts believe that they'll pick up around January. And I said, really? Well, but um, <laughs> the economy is so bad that Illinois Governor, uh, Governor uh, Bogoyevich, Bogoyevich, Blagojevich, let me see. Blagojevich, yeah. <laughs> Illinois Governor Blagojevich had to mark down the price of his Senate seat 40%. That's. 
Thank you. It was a lot easier when it was Governor Spitzer, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but uh, did you hear about this guy? Uh, what a tool. He, uh, <laughs> the uh, Illinois governor, Rod Blagojevich, is charged with uh, corruption. And apparently, here's what the guy was doing. He was stealing a lot of money, uh, getting a lot of bribes, a lot of kickbacks, and hiding them in his hair. Now, <laughs> and, and then he was charged with one count of Blagojeviching. That's what I thought. That's what it makes any sense. <laughs> But what he, what, you know what he was doing, uh, because uh, Barack Obama is the president-elect who used to be one of the senators from Illinois, so Blagojevich, the governor, has got to appoint a senator, so he was calling up people saying, would you like to be senator? Well, what's it worth to you? And, 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 and for, like, dough, like $200,000, a half a million dollars, and, and uh, now what are you doing to me? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, uh... Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, a big scandal. I just hope to God this doesn't tarnish the fine reputation of Illinois politics. Hello. Okay, now you... Okay. Yeah. He, um... But the uh, White House dog has to be sociable, ha has to be friendly, has to be trainable. And th yes, those are the same qualities President Bush looked for in an intern. Yes. <laughs> President Clinton looked for in an intern. That's what, that's what <laughs> oh, boy. I know. I, I know. I'm done with it. Uh, what? What is it? You'd like to do it again. It's a good joke. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to get a, a dog in the White House, oh. and the dog has to be sociable, mm -hmm. has to be friendly, has to be trainable, and yes, those are the same qualities President Clinton looked for in an intern. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Whenever there's a, uh, a rivalry like this, the, the mayors of the two competing towns get the little wagers going, and it's supposed to be cute. Oh, if you win, we'll send you a bucket of chili. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'll make the boys play harder. <laughs> um, so now, uh, the mayor from Philadelphia uh, wants a friendly bet, and he says if uh, Philadelphia, if the Phillies win, uh, they will send us, uh, they will send us, uh, no, wait a minute, how does that go? If we, no, if Philadelphia loses, just, just move your hand. That's the problem. Thank you. I don't know. Maybe. Every night, it's like a trip to the optometrist. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So if we win. Philadelphia sends us a case of cream cheese, right. you see. Now, Mayor Bloomberg said, well, what do I need a case of cream cheese for? I have $6 billion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really wasn't worth all that trouble, was it? I'm so sorry, Tony. Uh, oh. Whew, how about this? And I, I don't know, this story happens like once uh, every year, twice a year. A guy uh, gets through, uh, first of all, he's coming, uh, and he's getting, he decides what he wants to do is take his lizards with him. So he, uh, he gets a ticket to fly on an uh, airline, and uh, before he goes through security, he, uh, he tranquilizes the lizards. And he's got 44 lizards now in his underpants. <laughs> they're, they're dozing peacefully in his underpants. And he, and he goes through security, hops right on the plane. Hops right on the plane, not a problem. Bomb in your underpants. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. No. It's thoughtful. <laughs> what happened there? Yeah. Let me see it. Pull it back out again. Let's see what happened. Oh. Here's, 
Now, here's the rest of the story. Oh, okay. <laughs> Paul Harvey used to say, page two. <laughs> they caught the guy with the sleeping lizards in his pants. Oh, that was. <laughs> oh, no. You see? Yeah. Makes all the. <laughs> <laughs> a bomb in your underpants, not a problem. No problem. Not a problem. <laughs> sleeping lizards. I dug 17 tunnels with my face. Uh, former President uh, Bush, George W. Bush, is now writing a book. He's writing a book about his eight years in the, the White House, and it's, it's green. Everybody is very green conscious now. You do what you can to preserve the environment, and even George W. Bush's uh, new book is green. It's uh, made up and published on and bound up and everything. It's entirely made out of uh, 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 old Al Gore ballots. So that'll, that'll be a keepsake for you there. He, uh, a lot of people looking forward to George W. Bush's book, uh, and there's, uh, you know, he's writing his own uh, biography, and it's a book that he is writing. If you could move your hand, I'd get on with the joke. Thank you. Ah, it's a, uh, it's a, you're fine. No, you're fine. It's me. Not him, it's me. Don't worry about it. A lot of anticipation about the new book that George Bush is writing. But don't worry, it'll also be available in English. So there. I like, uh, I like that the Mitt Romney and Michelle uh, Bachman, they look like the Channel 7 news team, don't they? Uh, <laughs> Eyewitness News with Mitt and Michelle. Uh, but speaking of Spider-Man... <laughs> I don't know, what... Is there something I don't know? What, what is it? What happened? Is it speaking of Spider-Man? Well, the kind of joke that we had... Uh-huh. And I didn't... I wasn't able to change the card. Oh, that's all right. Don't know. <laughs> no, you weren't. Oh, you Well, I understand. As long as there's a reason, you weren't able okay. to change the card. Yeah. It opened earlier today. Oh, and Spider-Man did. Oh, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to give you your raise, either. Uh, He's kidding, kidding. But, ladies and gentlemen, seriously, speaking of Spider-Man, ah. opened earlier today... Uh, Newt Gingrich uh, dropping out of the Republican race. And people will say, well, what will, what will Newt Gingrich uh, do? Well, he's going to catch up on Downton Abbey. That's number one. Uh, yes, of course. And right now he's working on a half-hearted endorsement for Mitt Romney. So nice. he's got his hands yeah. full. Let's, uh, let's take a, uh, a look at, uh, now that Newt's gone, this is an announcement uh, that uh, I saw. Just show them the card so they don't think I've lost my mind. That's it. <laughs> an announcement I saw. Take a look at an announcement I saw. That's right. See, it's not entirely me. <laughs> Got to start coming to rehearsal. <laughs> okay, here, take a look at an announcement I saw. I want to get back to the uh, uh, Emmy Awards because it's the one night that uh, famous show business people select uh, to call attention to themselves. <coughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the Emmy statuettes are distributed to the uh, television elite. Now, uh, I was not nominated. I don't think anybody on the show was nominated. Nobody here nominated? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Foley was... Oh, oh, did he win? Oh. 
Well, I was not nominated, uh, and that's, uh, I had a good excuse, uh, and I think people misunderstand. Do you find that sometimes where you misunderstand people? Hmm. <laughs> like, I, I can hear yourselves questioning the purpose of your being here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I have a good excuse. I, w I was not nominated, is why. <laughs> now, is, uh, Tony, is there another card there? No. <laughs> so we're out of cards? <laughs> this is it. There's not a card after that. Well, that's, I'm ready, for, I think we're all ready for a different <laughs> joke. Yes. <laughs> that's, ha, ha, ha. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you. <laughs> is, there, is there a different joke after that one? Ah, yes. Uh, Tony? Tony. I ah. say, ha, 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 ha. Is there, is there a different joke after that one as well? <laughs> All right, yeah. let's see what that. Let's, let's go. Let's see what that is. Okay, that's fine. Here we are. Okay, okay here we are. All right. But well, let me tell you something. Even, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, even if I had been lucky enough to be nominated for an Emmy Award, I couldn't be there. You see, you have to fly to California. They have it at the Grace Smithers Hall. <laughs> I couldn't be there. I, uh, my, well, my weekend schedule is jam packed. Take a look at this. I, uh, uh, you know something, ladies and gentlemen? Put the cards down. I don't need the cards for this. Uh, how about a nice hand for our cue card boy, Tony Big Ink Mendez? <laughs> now, we don't normally do this, and if you're uh, frantically uh, searching through your TV guide to find out about this, it won't be in the TV guide. We haven't planned this. I haven't told the production staff. I haven't even told Paul no, and the orchestra no, about this. We don't know. It's, uh, it's Monday night. And, uh, you know, the problem is that uh, El Dingo has screwed up the weather so bad. <laughs> and, and a result we weren't counting on is allergies. We all have the allergies, don't we? We're all, we're all yeah. allergic. Uh, yeah, CBS is allergic to viewers. But, but you know, we all... I, uh, and because we had a kind of a tough weekend, one day was absolutely beautiful, the next day was, was not. It was uh, the beautiful day was beautiful and the not beautiful day was raining. <laughs> You have to understand, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> because we all, in our lives, have our own personal cross or crosses to bear, I'm going to do something special for you folks, the home viewers, tonight. Not just a regular Monday show. Put away the regular Monday show cards. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and by the way, thanks for getting yourself fixed up for the show. <laughs> It's like we're running a middle-aged daycare center here. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and by all means, feel free to continue enjoying your gum. Good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> President Clinton is in Los Angeles. Really? She's not worried about it, though, because when all of this stuff started to come apart a couple of weeks ago, she had Lojack installed on his fly. So, <laughs> he's got him. Exactly. Are you in the National Guard? What, why are you dressed like that? <laughs> You've been out on maneuvers or something? Is this is summer camp? What is going on? This is the, your two-week commitment every year. You've got to go out in the Pine Barrens and find your way back with a compass and cue cards. Well, <laughs> Tony Mendez, Tony Big Ink. Take a bow, come on. Take a bow. Have Hunter Jr. right there. I think I look nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You also probably think you got a job. Well. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. And by the way, in... 
<laughs> By the way, enjoy your gum. Oh, yeah. My <laughs> yeah. Listen to this. Uh, you know, uh, it's interesting what uh, former presidents do when they leave office. George W. Bush is now working as a motivational speaker. <laughs> motivational speaker. And, and if you want to be motivated, uh, who better to, to turn to than the guy who invaded the wrong country and started a depression? You know, <laughs> that's... <laughs> He's a... Uh... Tony, you expecting a gust of wind? I see you're standing on the cards. Well, I have. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is, is, is some sort of tornadic activity coming through here? <laughs> the, the human paperweight. <clears throat> now, here's something. Uh, anybody come in on that uh, Air France uh, 380? The, the jumbo uh, A380, oh my God, and it uh, it uh, b bangs around in a thing, wow. and uh, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, then they had the smaller commuter. I'm telling you, it's just a. What's the matter, Tony? Huh? It looked like you had quit. I think you know. <laughs> Seems to have read the joke, and it's cracking him up. <laughs> I know. He just it was like he was putting the cards down, like I don't it was know. pointless. Well, you can't. Uh... All I'm telling you, there was a, it's a good thing that plane never took off because there was a guy in seat 5A with four ounces of conditioner in his luggage. Whoa, that's right. I see God, now. God. All right. Uh, uh, I thought that um, Romney's most powerful moment last night when he used uh, the uh, president, he said, look, if I'm elected president, I absolutely, you take my word for it, I will do everything in my power to keep nuclear weapons out of the hands of Lindsay Lohan. I thought that was a, a crucial, right, why is this so important. But hey, the, um, huh? What? What are you talking to him about? What would you say to him? Just read the joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will. So I, you know, I, I, I thought, well, maybe it's time we do an in-depth background check for President Bill Clinton. Here we go, Paul. Turn time on the music. background check. Three years carried this damn network on our back, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that, just little made-up tunes like that. Do that again, that little diddle diddle diddle. Clinton diddle. background checks. Three years. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. The Smooth. Car. Gotta get some of them rubber thumbs because Smooth these cards are hard to hang on to. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> Back By the way, how's your weekend, Paul? Oh, I had a lovely time. You I'm know, uh, forgive me for interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I think I may have an eating disorder. Why? I tell you, and maybe you're like me, maybe everybody is like this. Once I start eating, I can't stop. What makes you say that? I, well, because, what did I just say? You said you may have a, an eating disorder. Once you start eating, you just can't stop. What makes you say that? Well, <laughs> what makes you say that? Hey, 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 who gave you the day off? Let's go. Put them up. Come on. What are you doing? Put them up, Dave. What are you doing? They're having a snack. He's down there eating something. He's having a snack. He's got an what eating disorder. What are you eating? Time. What are you eating? What was that? Gum. Was... He's got gum. Do you have enough for everybody? Huh? Do you have enough gum for the entire audience? That's very bad behavior. Kenny G, uh, saxophone stylist Kenny G will uh, also be uh, performing at the inauguration. You like? I love uh, Kenny G music. Uh, and you know, whenever I hear Kenny G music, I find myself saying, "Excuse me, uh, what level is Foot Locker on?" Oh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> is that your gum? Is that your gum? You put your gum up there? Sick. Well, don't put it on the camera. This is a valuable piece of equipment. 
Here, no, here, I'll take care of it. What is wrong with you? Where were you? Making me sick. Were you, were you brought up in this country? There, now here, get rid of that. Take that somewhere. Uh, you're making us all sick. Uh, <laughs> that was my favorite joke that just what? went there, the one you ripped off. And when I say ripped off, I don't mean. You know. Oh, here. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> it's. It's all yours. All right, thank you. There thank you go. You. It looks beautiful. Oh, oh, it's good. Gorgeous. You like what I've done with the place? Good. Well, this is kind of a cute story. Congratulations uh, to our old friend, Tony Randall. You know about Tony Randall. Tony Randall uh, married a couple of years ago to a woman, I believe. Uh, Tony is 77 years old and married a woman, I believe, in 19... And uh, <laughs> a, couple of, a couple of days ago, uh, Tony, at the age of 77 years old, had his first baby. Became a father for the first time at 77. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Great. Congratulations, Tony. But, you know, you kind of got to feel badly uh, for his wife, you know, uh, the diapers and uh, the drooling and uh, the bottles, you know. <laughs> And, of course, now she has a baby to take care of. Oh, uh, that one coming up Broadway. They saw that one coming up Broadway. You're touching the cards after you're playing with your gum. Don't you have, like, sanitary gloves? Shouldn't you be wearing... Well, don't do it again! Oh, oh you're making us sick! Oh! oh! Now, let me ask you a question, Mr. Big Shot. Do you think Martin Mull, big TV star, famous artist, do you think he's going to want to come out here now that you've besmirched his good name with... <laughs> he, he's, he's formed his own sign language using gum. He's found a way to type using gum. All right, stop that. Uh, you wanted to make sure everybody was sickened. Our first guest plays uh, diner owner Leon Carp on the hit television program Roseanne. He also has an ex uh, exhibition. What's the matter with me? I'm just going to blame it on you. <laughs> How do you expect me to read that? <laughs> he also has an exhibition of paintings at the uh, Carl Hammer Gallery in Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Renaissance man Martin Mull. Martin, come on out. Excuse me. Hey, I little... forgot to get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! There you go. It's always a problem. What do you do with it, you know? Yeah. You don't want to leave it someplace yeah. where it's a health hazard. <laughs> no. On the program this evening, the lovely, the talented, the peppy, soon to open up in the blockbuster uh, Broadway musical Chicago, Mary Lou Henner. Yeah. Mary Lou Henner. From the uh, Cosby Show, Doug E. Doug, and a uh, 16-year-old blues uh, musician from South Dakota, North Dakota, South Dakota, North Dakota, South Dakota, North Dakota, North Dakota. Yeah. Seriously, what is the difference, though? South? Oh, it's South. It's South. You're giving me the sign for North. It's South. Nice going. Why don't you have a seat? You chewing gum again, pal? Are you chewing gum? All right, come on. Give me one of those cards. Give me this card. Give me this card. All right, spit it out right there, buddy. Come on. And, uh... <laughs> hey, boys. Uh, yesterday in uh, Washington, they had uh, kind of a mini summit meeting there at the White House. It was uh, Yasser Arafat and uh, Bibi Netanyahu and uh, President Clinton. And President Clinton thinks, well, hell, you know, if he can bring peace to his marriage, you know, he's got a shot at bringing peace to the Middle East. That's what, he, that's what he's thinking. He's a... What are you eating? What are you eating? Huh? What are you eating? What are, what are you eating? I saw you eating something. Is it still there? No, no, you were eating something. Was chewing gum. No. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I was chewing gum. Okay, we'll table. go ahead. We'll wait. <laughs> yeah, relax. Take your time. You know, after all, that's what rehearsal is for, Tony. So, are you comfortable now? Yes, sir. Oh, Thank right, you. Good. Good for you.
You have a little extra gum for Andrew? Maybe that'd cheer him up. <laughs> you like a little gum? Would you like some gum? Do you have any more gum? No, don't even. Oh, no. <laughs> If you, if you couldn't print so darn well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Very good. Here's a hand eye for it. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Thursday night, and uh, every Thursday night we set a couple of minutes of the show aside. I go into the uh, audience, the vast, uh, the lovely uh, audience here at the Ed Sullivan Theater, and here's what we do. It's entertaining and it's educational. We, it's a little something we call infotainment. Infotainment. <laughs> It's informative and entertaining. Infotainment. It's America's fastest growing quiz sensation. You're chewing gum too, aren't you? <laughs> Good crap. Again, every night, everybody in the audience is chewing gum. Get rid of it. Do me a favor, just as an example. Oh, that's very nice. Do you do that at home? Do you put your, do you put your chewing gum on your TV camera at home? They say that uh, Monica's uh, book will be a cautionary tale. A cautionary tale. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I think it's terribly important to, to uh, uh, warn young women uh, the pitfalls that uh, happen when they're dating presidents. I can't... <laughs> let, me see what I, let me see a skid back. Where did I... No, I screwed it up. We're okay, right? Just about there. And here's where we took the detour. Here's the way the joke actually reads. I think... It's terribly important to warn young women. Are you chewing gum, by the way? <laughs> Get rid of the gum. You got some tape on your back. What is that? <laughs> Get rid of the gum. Seriously. You made a fool out of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get, go ahead. And just... <laughs> Get rid of the gum. Thank you very much. Just put it in your pocket. Okay. I think it's terribly important. To warn young women about the dangers of dating presidents. Oh, That's how the joke presidents. is supposed to go, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. <laughs> I ought to tell you something. It's a pretty ugly deal out there in Seattle. I haven't seen a crowd of people that hostile, that angry, that outraged since I hosted the Academy Awards. Oh. Honestly, I haven't seen it. Remember that? Nasty, ugly. Get out of here. Uh, now get out of here. Now cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying the show, Tony? Yes. Sir. Good. Glad, nice to have you here. Uh, Tony Mendez, ladies and gentlemen, our cute card. Get rid of the gum. 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 No. Get rid of the gum. You shouldn't be chewing gum. He's got gum. You shouldn't be chewing gum. Get rid of the gum. It's a big time show. Get rid of the gun. Get rid of the gun. Get rid of the gun. Come on. <laughs> Put a guy on him, will you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's, uh, it's uh, Thursday night. You all right? You're coughing. Are you okay? okay. You got a little thing, too? <clears throat> no, I'm okay. You all right? Yes, it's you. not Rosie O'Donnell, have you? <laughs> huh? No, I'm you okay. You got a thing. Yeah. I'm okay. Do you have a lozenge or is that gum? It's gum. Oh, fine. <laughs> you pig. <laughs> well, we're learning more and more about the Supreme Court nominee, John Roberts. You know anything about this guy? I know for one thing, he's from Indiana. He's from Indiana. Uh, he was, yeah. He was uh, captain of his high school football team. He graduated Harvard in three years. It's like I have a twin. <laughs> Excuse me, Tony, could you take the toothpick out of your mouth? Thank you oh. very much. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> you see Don't that? Don't blame <laughs> just This is not exactly the grand old I didn't know this about uh, John Roberts. Here's another interesting fact about the newest uh, Supreme Court. As the newest member, John Roberts, for the first year, will have to wear a terry cloth robe. Did you know that? 
hazing process. Yeah. Okay, you can go ahead and put it back in. Ah. Uh, good. <laughs> no. The toothpick. The toothpick. Thank you. Thank you, Festus. <laughs> Look at that. I know. <laughs> Anyway, Mom is coming to the house this weekend. She's bringing her pharmaceutical-grade potato salad. So yeah, look out. out. Hello. Look out. <laughs> you know, now, don't put your gum up there. Seriously. Uh, don't. That don't. is... What, what is... What, 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 what do you think this is? What is... Why do you put your gum up there? This is... This is not a flop house. What are you... What's a... You're not at home, my friend. You know, uh, uh, the, uh, I didn't know this was going on, but in China, they were, uh, you know what they were doing in China? They were going to put together an amusement park, and eh, that's fine. P put up an amusement park. I don't have any trouble with that. Everybody needs to be amused. Yeah. But, <laughs> especially right now, uh, I'm, I'm begging you to amuse yeah, me. Uh, but, but this was a theme park. It, would, it, had, a, it had a sex uh, theme. It was a sex theme park. Really? Now, I don't... I don't well. <laughs> exactly. But now, so the government got a, they said, no, no, wait a minute. Nah, come on, that's too much amusement. You can't do that. <laughs> and they were going to call the place, uh, it was going to be called, if you'd move your hand, I could see what they called it. Thank you. <laughs> it was, uh... I just told you. Oh, my I, I, honest to God, Tony, every night it's like a visit to the eye doctor. It's ah. like, <laughs> I can't, can you, no, I can't, I can't see anything. Every night. Let's see what the old man can do with this. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Um, the name of the amusement park was uh, called Sexland. I'm sorry, it's called, no, it's called Loveland. <laughs> yeah. Sex land. It was called Love Land, is what it was called. Oh, no, no. Anybody here from Mississippi? Do we have anybody in the house from Mississippi? Yeah. Can you prove it? A Taco Bell, listen to this, a Taco Bell in Mississippi closed down because a, a guy found a snake in his food. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. The good news is no more rats. That's the good news. <laughs> the uh, customer knew something was wrong when he uh, noticed his burrito was rattling. And <laughs> I want to um, thank you very much, uh, Paul. I just want to mention one thing to avoid the trouble later. I told a joke earlier about a, a, a snake at the Taco Bell in Mississippi. You did. And the best information that we have is that there was no guy who found it in his food. Is that right, Tony? I don't know. What is it? Well, you're the one who made the face. <laughs> they said they found a snake, and they never said it was in the food. Well, that's right. And when I, when I ah. saw you blanch, I, I said to myself, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Be careful, yeah. because you're going to get yourself into some legal hot water. Tony made you feel guilty. He's my, well, he's my cue card boy. <laughs> boy. And... Uh, he's also my attorney. <laughs> so when I, when I saw him uh, gasp in horror yeah. that I had misrepresented the facts, I said to myself, you better clear this up, by God, or there's going to be a subpoena, right. there's going to be a lawsuit, sure. there's going to be some pro bono. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So. I am pro bono very much. Thank you. Yeah. As, as far as we can tell, the, the snake was, where was he, Tony? In the bathroom. The snake was in the bathroom. Do you know that for a fact? Now you're, so you're just... Some attorney is getting you in more trouble. Father and father, oh here, this just it. What does it say? 
Well, he was uh, in the restaurant. The snake was in the restaurant, not in the food. Okay, not okay, in the food. Okay, not in the food. Okay. He was thrown through the drive through window. <laughs> oh, well, that's a different story. Yeah. It's a whole different story. So somebody drove through and heaved a snake in the window and, and kept going. Another satisfied Taco Bell customer. Yeah. So we, we've misrepresented this whole thing. Sure. How, how do you know this? Did you call in the thing? They told me. Are, there, are they nervous now about this? That Taco Bell is going to take a hike on us? Wait. Huh? Yes, they are. They are nervous, yeah. They are nervous. Yeah. Okay. Sure they are. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll be very... Huh? Vinny is nervous. Who? Vinny. Vinny is nervous. Okay. Well, we, we just wanted to clear this up then. Uh, the snake wow. was, was not in a chalupa? No. In no way. But, <laughs> but we can absolutely... Wow, what's what? I'm told now we can absolutely confirm that the burrito was rattling. <laughs> burrito was rattling. The burrito was rattling, okay. that's right. All right. I got to tell you something. Uh, I, I love uh, Tony. He's a tremendous worker, and he does a great job. Everything's usually a thousand percent correct, but okay. it is a little disconcerting when you're out here trying to tell jokes, and in the middle of a joke, you see your cue card boy <laughs> react like this. Ah. That's great. That's got to yeah. fine. Throw you a little bit. It's got to throw you a touch. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the uh, program tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, every uh, Friday night for the last uh, four or five years here at uh, CBS, what we do is we uh, open the CBS uh, mailbag, and we, uh, it's interactive television. W what are you doing? What is the matter with you? Are you all right? <laughs> what, what is the problem? It was itching. Oh, it was itching. Well, shall, we, shall we stop the tape? No. <laughs> Did you tell the producer your eyeball was itching? I don't know. Can we go on like this? I don't know. Yeah. Well, just continue to enjoy your gum. By all means. I'm telling you, working here, it ain't, it ain't, uh, it ain't NASA. <laughs> Mr. Letterman, can we cancel the show? Eyeball itching again. No show. That's it. Everybody go home. Oh, boy, look what I got here. Hey, you know, it was very warm here, and uh, uh, I got up early this morning, played 100 holes of golf. Did you play? Really? No, yeah, I didn't get out. Come up one of these days, we'll play. You know, up at Crooked Bush, I'm a member up there. Yeah. We'll play. Are you a member of Crooked yeah. Bush? Yeah, and, uh, but uh, the reason it's, 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 uh, huh? it's the weather, uh, because a couple of years ago, the government decided they would start, now listen to me, they would start, what are you, what are you, what's parched? What, what is this? What's going on? What are you having a beverage and a snack? What is the problem? Can we get to a canteen? <laughs> let's, let's try another word oh. of wisdom from Dr. Phil, if we could. Yep. Well, you see, it's easy to... Is it all there? <laughs> what are you just counting your money in the middle of the show? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What's the matter with you? Just leave me alone. All right. <laughs> Every night before the show, whether you folks at home know this or not, I come out here and I conduct my own focus group. And we chat with the audience members and we find out about their likes, their dislikes, their hopes, their dreams, their fears, their trepidations, their goals. Their joys, their yes. sorrows. Yes, it's very interesting. Earlier tonight, we met a, a lovely young woman, and, and her story was that once during a taping of the Oprah Winfrey show... <laughs> she fell sound asleep. Yeah. Out like a carp for 90 minutes or whatever uh, it was. Yeah. Uh, you know what we ought to do now because it is a big... Uh, what are you doing? Buttoning my jacket. You couldn't do that earlier? You got to do it now? 
Well, I'm going to be on in a few minutes. I want to look good. Why didn't you get dressed before the show? Are you all right? Just leave me alone. All right. Thank you very much. Before we begin the actual program tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take care of a little business here. I want to congratulate one of our uh, head writers, Justin Stengel. Yes. Over the weekend, Justin and his uh, lovely wife, Alora, had their first baby. How about that? It was born early Saturday morning, 107 a.m., right. 7 pounds, 11 ounces. This is their first child, and the baby's name is Emily. Very nice. Emily. And I've seen pictures of her. A lovely, sweet little girl and a lot of hair. I thought, yeah, well. Very, very cute. So our congratulations to uh, Justin, uh, to uh, Laura, and his uh, brand new baby daughter, Emily. Thank you very nice. for everything. Good luck to everybody. Laura. Huh? Laura. What did I say? Laura. It's L-A-R-A? -A? What did I say? Laura. It's Lara. It's Lara? Did I say? It's not Lara. It is, is Lara. What did I say? It's yeah. Laura. Okay, it's Lara. Lara. Yeah. It's not Laura. Yeah. Lara. Yeah. yeah. All right. On the... Uh... That's beautiful, Dave. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> How do we pronounce your name? Is it, is it adios? Is it... Is it... Oh! All right, uh, before we begin the uh, program, I, I need to explain something to you people. Years and years ago, the Ed Sullivan Theater had a, uh, a television show in here called The Ed Sullivan Show. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> and it was just a coincidence that that happened to be the name of the theater. Really funny how things work out. Yeah, and they would have a lot of, uh, it was like a variety show, and they had have uh, acts from around the world. They used to have uh, Russian circus acts, and if you know anything about the Russian circus, you know they always have uh, bears. With Russian the, bears. Russian bears. And in those days, uh, the Russians uh, didn't require papers or shots or anything for the bears. So they would come into, Tony, what are you doing, for the love of God? No. Honestly, he's, <laughs> what, he's either changing his shoe or, honestly, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I don't know, it's like kindergarten. Well, we can't see if, you. I, can I have your attention? Uh, what? What are you doing? You know, you know how easily Daddy is distracted. <laughs> and, but by the by, all means, continue to chew that gum. Good Lord, what is? Uh, it's not exactly the stork club in here, is it? Uh, so anyway. <laughs> What? Nice reference. Thank though. you very much. Yeah. Work club. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what was I talking about? Uh, Jason oh. Bateman. Yeah, Jason Bateman. <laughs> Is there a Jasmine oh. Bateman? Yeah. <laughs> There's an Ashley Simpson. No, bear. you're talking about the Sullivan Show. The Ed Sullivan Yeah. To show. make a long story Russian short, bear. we still have a bear here in the theater. And Left over from the Sullivan. That's right. And we used to think it was cute, but it's a uh, rabid. The bear has rabies. <laughs> And uh, they're omnivorous, they'll eat anything, and uh, this time of year they're in hyperphagia. What does that mean? I don't know. So they... <laughs> it means they start monkeying with their shoelaces in the oh, middle of the show. nothing worse. And... You know, it's like a kindergartner, like, all right, it's nap time. <laughs> Put down your mat and take off your shoes. <laughs> what are you, 70? So... <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll leave you alone. God, God bless him. We couldn't do the show without uh, our cue card boy, Tony Mendez. Yes. Uh, and, and, you know, for a long, long time, whenever I would make a mistake, uh, Tony had this habit of hissing at me. Just like, <laughs> like there was a snake. For years, I thought there might be a snake somewhere loose in the... You would hiss. Actually like hiss that. Actually hissing at me. And I, I finally said, please, Tony, I don't like snakes. Stop hissing at I me. Would, I don't blame you. Leave the hissing to the audience. You're on... <laughs> So, so now Tony no longer hisses at me if I make a mistake or if he thinks I have made a yeah, mistake. Yeah. Sometimes two different things. Yes. Tony now decides to do this. Hey! How's that? Hey! Really? <laughs> hey! Right, right in the middle of the show. Tony. Um, I, uh... It's hard to express. It's hard to express the frustration, frustration that builds in me sometimes. For example, uh, Tony, uh, our cue card boy, and uh, 
a, a, good, a good friend of mine, I've known him for, I don't know, 20 years, moments ago, he used to do this when he wanted my attention. In the middle of the show, I would hear this. Psst. Psst. You know, like there's a black mamba on the loose, or a, a, a bushmaster has gotten out, or, oh my God, it's an anaconda. Psst. And so just a, a few minutes ago, what was that guttural tone you evoked at me? <coughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> And I'll tell you something else, or just before the show, I'm upstairs, I have a lovely staff, and, and I said to one of my staff members, uh, do me a favor, could you call A, B, and C? I won't tell you who I asked to be. And this is the response I get from my staffer. Why? <laughs> it's like somebody has taken the crew aside and said, you know, you don't need to put up with this. Uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to. And, uh, and our first guest, because of the uh, difficulty down there on uh, Wall Street the last couple of days, uh, yesterday, as you know, the New York Stock Exchange plunged. Can you hold the card? 554 points. Yeah, 554 points. Okay, I'll just read it off my card then. <laughs> yesterday, are you an intern, by the way? <laughs> you, don't ha you don't have one of these, seriously? Oh, you did earlier. did earlier. Oh, for the rehearsal. That's great. <laughs> We're uh, uh, talking about this uh, uh, Charlie Sheen, and I guess uh, we should have him on the show. We should have Charlie on the show. Uh, boy, and I, uh, I know something about uh, humiliating yourself in, in public. <laughs> And, and I could straighten this whole thing out in, in a way that uh, Charlie would respond to. Because uh, when I went to counseling uh, to straighten myself out, uh, I'll, I'll, give the, I'll give the same advice that was given to me. I would give the same advice to, to Charlie. And if you're any kind of guy at all, this is the one thing you respond to. Anybody. If you're a real guy, you respond to this. Charlie would come out and I would say, hey, so Charlie, how's it going? And, and, then, and then he would go into his thing that he's, he's, he's not on drugs, he's on something called Charlie Sheen. That's what he's saying now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. And then I'd let him have a little fun and people do some laughs and, you know, this, this. And I would say, Charlie, <clears throat> here's what my therapist told me, and it worked pretty well, and I'm going to pass this information along to you. Try not to be such a dumbass. <laughs> Thank you. Now, on a lighter note, uh, during, during the commercial, uh, Tony Mendez, who we uh, saw a little bit of in the opening of the program, was favoring us all with some dancing. <laughs> Tony, would you like to share it with the American viewing public? No. Yeah, come on, let's see a little. Yeah. Come on, Tony. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Squatting the whole time. Squatting. He's one of the all-time great squat dancers. Yes, he is, absolutely. Really and memory. for a long, long time, Tony made his living as a dancer on Broadway. Yes, yes, yep, right. Absolutely. And I would now like to give you the same piece of advice I gave to Charlie Sheen. <laughs> 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 this always gives uh, people at home the impression that I'm uh, securing something in my pocket. What are you actually? Well, I'm actually just nervously fidgeting here. There's I nothing see. in there. It's just kind of thing. It's just a technique. It's kind of my, my, my hook. It's a technique. Yeah, yeah. I'm I see. Fondling my pocket you're flap. The, <laughs> you're the host who fondles his pocket. Flap. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's your hook. Yeah, thank you. Our first guest is a uh, talented uh, actress who has uh, been in some fine uh, films, the highly acclaimed uh, uh, Diner, of course, Sea of Love, and the television movie Before Women Had Wings. Oh, God. <laughs> well, go get the second card. We'll wait. Uh, last second. Told me you were taking the summer off. 
That's, that's all right, Mr. Mendez. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely, the charming Ellen Barkin. That's all that was on the set. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, Tony, when I, when I screw up another j joke like that, let me know right away so we can correct it immediately. Do you understand? You promise me to hit me. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't hit you. <laughs> Our next guest is a multi-platinum selling singer. who stars on the hugely popular MTV reality series, Newlyweds. This is great. This is, this is, I have here the drop dead list of music we're not allowed to play or will get sued. Now, interestingly enough, at the top of the list, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. But, but I've heard you play all along the Watchtower, but that's a Bob Dylan song. Is that how that works? Well, well we play some of his, too. You know, we do. We yeah. play. You know, this has absolutely no Jimi Hendrix. We're playing all the time. Jimmy. I mean, is life worth living? Yeah. If you can't have Jimi Hendrix, no, for the love of God? No, I mean, It's a good thing we play it all the time. Nobody's ever said don't play Jimi Bruce Springsteen, can't play Born to yeah. Run. Can't play Daddy, Born to Run. Can't play Born to Run. There's a few that he'll let us play. Yeah, that's right. There's a few. You can play 10th Avenue Freeze Out. Yeah. You can play uh, Glory Days, Thunder Road. And dancing in the dark. Well, that's a, yeah. At least we could yeah, play those. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we could must be we could play a few Hendrix, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. It says no Hen no, no, no play. It says no play. Bruce Springsteen and uh, Jimi Hendrix. All right. Well. Now we'll... what we've come up with is I think is a reasonable compromise, and uh, uh, we're trying to uh, work this through. Okay. You know the song I can't tell you why. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, not an Eagles song, strictly speaking. I'm why, asking you. Why not? I think it is. I, you think I, it is? Yeah, I think Do you they, think it is? No, you don't think I it is. I understand they wrote it. No, it was, they wrote it? Yeah, I think they, they wrote it. I can't tell you why. I thought he released it as a single. I what did you say, a, Bill? Well, Bill. Let's check. I thought he released it as a single. Who, who's he? Tim, Timothy N. Schmidt, their exactly. bass player. Their bass player, okay. It's on the Eagles album, The Long Run. Ooh. That falls under the Eagles library. We were so close. It's not, it's, it's an Eagles song. <laughs> Can, we, do can we blame Irz Irving Azoff for this? Somehow? I think you could pretty much blame anything on, on Irving Azoff. Okay, all right. Yeah. As, as the important thing is we found someone to take the blame. Yeah, okay. <laughs> also, Billy Joel. You've got to be careful with Billy Joel. Can't play any Billy Joel? Sam Cooke. Why are you kidding? We nope. can't play? Can't play Sam Cooke. Uh, Disney, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, uh, you can't play any of that. Uh, Jerry, or, or, by, or anything by Jerry Bruckheimer or Pixar, unless someone is uh, on promoting a film. I see. What about Captain and Tennille? Captain and Tennille, let's see. Can <laughs> <Do> we... <laughs> Tony, I, you were just, you were hanging around trying to suck up to the guy getting a voucher. That's what you were looking for, wasn't it? Oh, we like flying your airlines. We like JetBlue. Did, you got a free trip somewhere out of that? No, I've flown with them a lot. I know, I know, yeah. Nice yes, please leave the guests alone. <laughs> they, they don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm going to Miami in a couple of weeks. Got anything? Can you help a guy out? <laughs> Our next guest is just one of the hundred or so very funny and talented Wayans brothers. His new uh, television program is called uh, 413 Hope Street, and it premieres uh, on... What's the matter? What, did I say it wrong? Four, 413, oh, of course, yeah. Well. well, you see how confusing it is the way we've got it written out there. <laughs> 413 Hope Street. And... And I premieres on Fox. Oh, look, you screwed one up, too. Oh, look at there, Mr. Big Shot. And, oh, let's see it, buddy. Come on. And, 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 come on. I premieres on Fox. <laughs> ah, yeah. Having trouble with the T's again? 
It uh, premieres on Fox September 11th. Here he is, Damon Wayans. <laughs> 100 things Americans may not know about the Bush administration. I thought it was I thought it was the Cannon guy. William Conrad, I thought it was him. That's who I thought it was. Oh, hi. Thanks. Thanks, Ted. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me, David. Hmm? Who's that? That's uh, Ted, he's the Coco guy. All right, thanks. Coco thanks, guy. Ted. Okay. Coco guy. Yeah. Mm. You have a... uh, People love Coco. In general. But yeah. you, have a, you have your own Coco boy. Yeah, Ted. Everybody does. Everybody's got a Coco guy. Not everybody. Yeah. By the way, uh, if you're interested in uh, a career in cue cards on a television show, <laughs> just shoot us an application on the email to our website. Well, let's just take a look at it. Uh, now, we'll make sure that they, they get a look at it over at The View. That's right. Um, thank you very much, Paul. Thanks. Thanks, Ted. Our uh, next guest is a... Okay. David. David. <laughs> just making, you know, just trying something out. That's all. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Uh, thank you very much, Paul. Yeah. My thanks to Tenacious D, Jack Black, and Kyle Gass. How about that? Wasn't that yeah, tremendous? That's a nice show. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, Fred Travelina, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow on the program, uh, Ellen DeGeneres will oh. be joining us. The lovely, the talented Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, musical group Plus 44. Is it Plus 44 or is it PWS 44? Plus? Plus? <laughs> show them the card. Just show them the card. <laughs> It could be a W. It could be a W. It could be an L. You were right, though. <laughs> That's all right. Maybe, maybe time to get a new pen. Uh, and uh, Gordy Brown for Impressionist Week. Good night, everybody.